Hi there. Now, in this question, we've got to solve this modulus inequality. So if you haven't had a chance to have a go at this question, just give you a moment to pause the video. And as usual, when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the methods involved. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So when you've got a modulus, then Remember, the quantity inside here could either be positive or it could be negative. So we need to do two uh, inequality uh, equations. We'll look at when this is positive, solve it. We'll look at it when it's negative, solve it. And then we'll look at the simultaneous inequalities when we finish. OK, so that's basically where we're going with this. So if I just look at the positive value, we've got 3x squared minus 19x plus 20 and that has got to be less than 2x plus 2. Now if we rearrange this just make it a quadratic inequality then it's going to be 3x squared minus 21x plus 18 and that's less than 0. I'm going to divide through by 3, you don't have to, but uh, it does seem as if it's going to make it a lot easier. So we're going to get x squared minus 7x plus 6, and that's less than 0. And this will factorise, OK, so a couple of brackets here. Remember, this is going to be less than 0, and it's going to factorise to x minus 6 and x minus 1. So from here, we should be able to get our critical values. I'll just write CVs for short. Values of x, which would make this equal to 0, which would be x is 6 and x equals 1. And then if we sketch, say, the graph here, let's have our axes, y and x. We've got critical values at 1 and 6. It's not drawn to scale. But if we drew the graph of x minus 6 times x minus 1, it's going to be a parabola, something like that. And we can see that from here, where it's less than 0 is between 1 and 6. OK, so therefore, from the graph, we can see that x must be between 1 and 6. Now, what I do next is just consider when inside this modulus sign, this quantity here is negative. So what we've got is minus all of 3x squared minus 19x plus 20. And that is less than 2x plus 2. And expanding this, we've got, therefore, minus 3x squared plus 19x minus 20. And that is less than 2x plus 2. Now, if I rearrange this, I could multiply through by minus 1, in fact, make that plus 3x squared. So we'd have 3x squared minus 19x. There'll be a minus 2x here. So when I bring that across, that's going to be minus 17x. And then we've got plus 20 when I multiply through by minus 1. That'll be minus 2. So I add 2. So we've got 22. And don't forget the inequality sign must reverse, OK, if you multiply through by a negative number. So that'd be greater than 0. This will factorise, OK, so we've got 3x and an x. And then I can see that we're going to have minus 11 and minus 2. And that will be greater than 0. Again, we have to get the critical values, the CVs for short. And this bracket will be 0 when x equals 11 thirds. And this bracket will be 0 when x equals 2. So again, if I was to sketch the graph of 3x minus 11 times x minus 2, then we've got it crossing the x-axis at 2 and then 11 thirds. And I can see that we want this to be greater than 0. So that's going to be when x is less than 2 or greater than 11 thirds. So therefore, from here, we've got x must be less than 2, or x must be greater than 11 thirds. So what we need to do is have a solution that fits both of these inequalities. So easiest way to see this is most probably on a number line. We've got critical values 1 here. We've got a 2. 
so we'll just put that there one two we've got 11 thirds and then the six okay so 11 thirds and then six again not drawn to scale but we know that we've got to have x between one and six but at the same time it must be less than two but greater than 11 thirds so that means it's just restricted to this region in here between 1 and 2 and between 11 thirds and 6 okay so let's just write that down so our general solution then will be that x has to lie between 1 and 2 or it has to lie between 11 thirds and 6 for both to hold all right